COVID-19 hospitalizations and deaths are low in Arkansas, but the virus keeps changing, making the future harder to predict. The Omicron we have today is different from what we had just a few months ago. New subvariants keep showing up. THV11 can confirm both new subvariants from South Africa have been spotted in our state, as well as a new American subvariant. People who think they're immune because they already had Omicron could be mistaken. These new substrains are directly targeting people who already had coronavirus even just a few months ago, and that includes children. So THV 11's Ashley Godwin asks one of Arkansas's top doctors what your family needs to know. We recognize that COVID infections can hit anybody. Year three of the pandemic and COVID-19 is still common and still changing. A steady stream of subvariants making reinfection a major concern. We're seeing people that have had Omicron infections more than once. And so protection from one strain doesn't confer necessarily uh, protection against a different strain. Today, the FDA authorized one Pfizer booster shot for children aged 5 to 11. It's important for children to be vaccinated much like it is for adults. During the winter Omicron surge, we saw record numbers of cases and hospitalizations with children harder hit than before. We did have, with Omicron in particular, we had hospitalizations and death even in young children. Are you worried that we might have a possible surge here in this year, maybe next year? I'm very concerned about a surge as we get into fall. When the weather cools down, coronaviruses become more common. Dr. Hopkins recommends you stay up to date on your vaccines and mask up when necessary to protect yourself and others. If you haven't been vaccinated, get vaccinated. If you are eligible to get boosted and you haven't been boosted, get boosted. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Now remember, children under five years old still can't get vaccinated, but Moderna and Pfizer have requested authorization and the FDA is reviewing that. As for the boosters for kids five to 11 years of age, before it can actually happen, the CDC has to sign off on that. That is expected soon. Right now, you can go online and order eight free COVID tests. The federal government quietly opened up the covidtest.gov website for round three of ordering. The Postal Service will deliver the free test straight to your door or mailbox.